So everybody's chasing after this. It's, it's popular. That's why I made it's popular. Makes me, makes me very happy to hear that. Why? So I can go get the other stuff. It says ra- Raiders. Ratters. 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 All right, here we go. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition, our quest to review every sibling spirit on the face of the planet, subjected to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, we're finally reviewing seagrass. Can I think this seagrass. <laughs> I think this ended up on everybody's top 10 list last year, except for ours. <laughs> Was like, it on my top 10 list? Except for ours. You don't have a top 10. You don't have a top 10. You have like a top 50. You have a top every one. Year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, a very popular whiskey, a rye whiskey that's a Finnish rye whiskey. Mm-hmm. That I think I, see, I seriously think it made every single whiskey tuber's top 10 list last year, except for ours. <laughs> um, and that's fine. <laughs> you know, that. There is a difference of opinion maybe, but... What I will say is that we only ever tasted this after a fresh crack. True. Mm-hmm. We never, none of us ever sat down and, Mm-mm. you know, analyzed it on our scoring system. So First maybe, time. maybe mm. it is, maybe it is going to rank really high for us. We have a descent. I hope so. No, I hope we so. We don't know. I mean, we haven't, yeah. we haven't subjected it to our categories yet. For sure. I will remain optimistic and keep all possibilities open. So what this is though, is it is a rye that is finished in, uh, I think, like Martinique rum, or as Dylan would say, Martinican Martinique. rum, and uh, apricot brandy barrels, and Madeira wine barrels, wow. and it's blended all together. And I believe they're doing this in batches, and this is one of the first batches. Mm. Uh, I don't know if the proof is different batch to batch, but the proof on this yeah. one is 118.4. I think there's a couple of other ones. I think there's like a 119 mm. batch that's Ooh. like the newer one. Uh, I believe the flavor profile is pretty similar batch to batch from what I understand, but let's get a quick look at the bottle. Look at that cool kind of bright green there that says seagrass. Seagrass. Rye finished, as I said, in the Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels. 5,990 bottle number. Bottles. Well, that's just this bottle number. 59.2%, 118.4. I, I mean, I kind of like the color scheme. Not bad. It's the regular... Um, barrel seagrass bottle. As you can see, this is distilled in Tennessee, Indiana, and Canada, also known as Canadia. Did you guys know that? Can, uh, no, it's not. All right, Dylan, you got anything else? I'm going to get us poured. Yeah, so apparently the name comes from the fact that they wanted to... Uh, it, it is actually an ode to coastal memories. I think that's their official line. So I guess it's supposed to be like whimsical. It's supposed to... You're just supposed to reminisce about... Whimsical, it's the to, beach! Yeah, going going to the you know the beach. The, the, beach. the beach. The beach is like right there. <laughs> the beach. It's like it's like one of those um, <laughs> things that you write on your dating profile. What do you like to do? Well, I, I like to walk on the beach. beach. I like to eat seagrass. and and drink seagrass. <laughs> you know, is like, that really what people do? I have no idea. Should we have reviewed this at the beach? All right, guys. Well, let's <laughs> drinking on the beach. Yeah, I want to see us get arrested. I know it's, it's ridiculous. It's illegal to drink on the beach, isn't it? This is much as we can commune with nature. Call your congressman. It's so dry. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we're going to taste. He's so still drink, man. And we'll be back in a second. Cheers. As uh, Dylan's laptop catches fire. <laughs> I close it. It's only getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did turn off. Nice. Wait, how long has this been open? One. One what? One quarter of a year. Okay. I mean, it's been open uh, for a little while. Like, I think we opened this on a live stream a while ago. This is perplex- perplexing in some ways, you know? Are you vexed? I'm vexed. How much does this go for? Price point, we should note, um, 80 to 100 I would say. this mm. We paid... Retail's $90. See, 88 <laughs> 90 89 99 Oh, there you go. 89 99 But yeah. I've seen it as low as like 82 mm. and as high as like 100 and change. I haven't even tasted it yet because I'm trying the to figure out this, uh, the, the nose. I know what the nose is. Fantastic. I figured out the nose, personally. I get it. This is this is you, right? This is Jules. This is you. It's so good. <laughs> if ever there is a Jules whiskey, this is the Jules whiskey. <laughs> this better be an 11. 
And we should point out, by the way, this is episode one in our uh, Seagrass week, because what we have coming up in the future is a review of the 16 year Seagrass. Um, and also a very special episode at the end of the week that is a make your own seagrass. And uh, for this episode, for our members of Curiosity Private, we're going to be doing a head-to-head between this and another finished rye that we're big fans of, the Angel's Envy rye. So if you're a member, you get to see that. If you're not, consider becoming a member if you do want to see that. And if you don't think that sounds interesting, then just don't worry about it. Just hang out and watch this episode. This is really difficult. Is it really that difficult? It is. Yeah, it's a little bit of a moving target. It keeps moving. Yeah, and I understand what you're talking about. But I think... um, I, I really think discussing this will help us all coalesce. Mm. I hope so. Yeah, because this, this is really, it's con- con- this is really challenging. It's really confusing. And I totally get. I totally get why uh, it made people's top lists. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, me too. It's like it's like people love daiquiris. Yeah. People yeah. love sweet cosmopolitans. But at the same time, like I feel like intrinsically, I want to discount it for that, but I have a hard time doing that. Yeah, me too. Like it, 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 it stands up. I yeah, think it does stand it, up. So. It holds. Okay, okay let's get into our discussion, guys. We've had a tan, a tance, a tance. <laughs> We've had a chance to taste and score. We haven't looked at each other's scores. I caught a quick glimpse of Jules inadvertently. Um, <laughs> inadvertently, <laughs> I happened to look right at it. Um, but yeah, I know what Jules. But mine's a moving target. Yeah, man, it is. So. Um, and we will reveal our scores in just a second. But first, Jules is going to tell you in less oh. than like 0.5 seconds what our scoring criteria are. Ten categories. Ten points each. That include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, durability, aesthetics, and value. However, flavor at 20 points. Aesthetics and value at five points each. And you can medal in our competition if you score 60 and above. You go from bronze, silver, gold to diamond. <laughs> it just blows me away that you still have to read it. Oh, every time. You still have to I look don't at the know, card I cannot to know it. what the scoring criteria are. I do not memorize this. I barely know what I did this morning. Uh, fair enough. I don't either. Um, but let's get our s- initial scores for Barrel Seagrass. Again, this could change. We're going to talk right. about it. I think we all agreed this is one we need to talk about. Sure. I feel like I need to talk about moving. it. Sure. My initial score... 78. Oh, wow. 79. Oh, wow. 61. <laughs> That's about right. This hater. Yeah. The haters. I'm not a hater. Haters got to hate. Hater. Haters got to hate. Hater. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited by your scores. Uh, because that means that I have a chance of getting like things like Bring Brucey Stag and George Stag. No, you know. No, you know. George Stag Juniors. Yeah. George Stag. <laughs> That's what it said on the on the. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's talk our way through this. All right. Let's kick this off with aroma out of ten points. I thought it was an eight. Me too. Eight. I gave it a six. Um, you know why? It just kind of reminds me of the Las Vegas Margarita. Like the ones that come in that, like the big tubes. But it's flavorful. And then, and then, just because it's not the flavor but, you were expecting. No, no, no. no but you know what? You know what I liked about it. You know what I liked about it. Okay, stop. Okay. I, I gave no. it a six. I gave it that extra point. I bumped it up because it reminded me of my childhood when I used to get the, like the scratch and sniff stickers. No. And it was like the like no. the apricot peach and stuff no. like that. And you're like, no. Ooh, peach synthetic r- peach rings. Oh yeah. Yeah. I do love peach rings. Yeah. Yeah. This is an opening a bag of peach rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, I, I mean, like, it, it, you know, it's yeah. like in, in the chemistry lab. You're just making like the different different yeah. aromas, right? Yeah, yeah. I give it a six. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, what did I write? Mixed drinks, scratch and sniff. Right. Okay. Um, so hang on. Reframe uh, what you're thinking about though for a second, and just think about if, the if fact- this was fu- if, if this was fizzy. It would slot right into White Claw slash Truly. Perfect. Bias. Seriously, so man. Bias. I've never what? seen so much bias. No, tell me, tell me what, what I'm supposed to be okay. smelling. Because what I came what am this, I smelling I, beyond the, the I apricot? Came in, I came into this with an open mind, and I was yeah. thinking, all right, here's a spirit. Let me just forget about everything I know about it, and let me just smell it. And what I smelled was a apricot. lot. I smelled a lot of apricot, but I smelled some peach. I smelled some peach. rye underneath it. Rye. And you know what? There's a lot going on there. This is better than a Coconut, six. Rye, apricot, and Coconut. peach. That's more than a six. That's that uh, alone is more than a six. What Come you just on. said. No, you've never. Well, smelled that's that you. Before. That's you. No, For me, I, well, okay. Where else have you smelled? Where apricot. else have you smelled this? Where have you smelled this? On a sticker. Okay, and have you ever uh, smelled a sticker before in our ultimate series competition? I mean that. that could oh go yeah, there we go. It should be at least two points no, no, higher. No, no. Let's move on I, to flavor. Flavor seventeen. Eighteen. 
I get a 14. I enjoyed this, man. There's a there's some a serious flavor here, man. Flavors to I, enjoy. I wouldn't I wouldn't chalk them up to traditional rye flavors. Yeah, that's true. But there's flavors here. There's a lot of flavors. I, I and I think that's where Dylan's suffering. He's like, he can't think of this outside the box. It, it is outside the box. No, I, I, I'm, again, like I said, I'm so happy about your scores because I get why it was on the top list of everybody. And so everybody planned. is chasing this after is this. so this. planned. Chasing after so this. This is great. Like what? This was like number two on somebody's list? Yeah, this this is perfect. Okay, you're talking to us. I, I am so on, happy. Just remember, you're talking to us like we scored it on our top list. Yeah, I gave it a I, 78. It's pretty high right there. I so gave it a 78. It's, it's near, no, no, no. near gold right we there. We gave uh, a, Doers 32 a 97. Exactly. This you is know not what? anywhere close to the top of the list. What, what, I, what I love about this, it reinforces the fact that your Christmas gift is now going to be Italian Doors soda 32. flavor. Italian Doors soda 32. flavor. That's Doors jam. 32. That's what it Sounds is, right? Like Doors 32. Just, just like, you know, apricot, right? I mean, you just... What? What is this for apricot? Dude, uh, it's because <laughs> no. it's you I, lived I mean, a uh, posh life. You go, to, you, go to, you go to Starbucks and you say, can I get like four pumps That's a posh life. I could not afford no. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is definite... Rye flavor coming. No, 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 no. You know what? I want to. I want to do this. This is a dollar oh, coffee at McDonald's. This is this is the best. Dollar this is the coffee. best. Mmm, apricot. You know what? I feel like there's this wow. flavor of apricot, and it's like so you know bold. What? Apricot. Here's what's happening. It's apricot. Dylan it's is, apricot. Dylan is doing let me, what? Let me put this on my top ten list. It's <laughs> apricot. Classic contrarian. Hey, you know, and you know what? Let's go get the Italian soda. You know what? No, you know what? Dylan is doing what I really wanted to do. Yeah. I yeah, really, exactly. really wanted to do that. But you know what? I'm being honest. Oh man. Oh man. man. This should be on the top 10 list oh. because it tastes like apricot. Oh my goodness. Dylan is right, but he's a whole f spectrum off yeah. because he's in the he's 60s. Off. 10 out of 10, apricot. He, he's in the 60s while well, this needs to be in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just think he's he's overcorrected. Low 70s. He's overcorrected and that's Whatever. okay. If you guys that's really want to know, that's great. That's if you guys really great. want to know, just listen to me and Jules. It's okay. Yeah, Let's move on to sure. $90. $90 for scratch and sniff $80. apricot. Great. But anyway, let's That's move on great. to body uh, eight. I give it a seven. I give it a six. I like the body of this. I thought it, it had some heft. It had a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. It wasn't the best thing, but no. more better than I had expected. When I came in with Dylan's mindset, I would have given it a five. Yeah. But I came in objectively, and I realized that, you know what? There is stuff here. It's not what I like. It's not what I would expect, but it is good. It's an eight. I, yeah. I really so. wanted more apricot. I mean, like I wanted to, I wanted like an apricot puree, right? And I would have, I would have given it. Okay, nine or guys, ten we gotta move on to complexity. Oh, no, no. Uh, complexity, our next category, uh, it ate for me. There's eight. a lot going on here. There's rye flavors. There's apricot. There's the Madeira coming through. You're getting the rum influence. Getting the know, rum influence. Like, yeah. It's it's Coconuts very. There. It's too apricot heavy. I would agree, yeah. but that's a balancing for me. <laughs> so yeah, I gave it a six. I gave it a six because it had the rye and then it had apricot. No, there's more to it. Than there's that. more than there's that. more to it. Than that. There's you're being of unfair. You're being unfair. Was it like a like you're again? You're, 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 you're conflating your apricot. Your balance. That's like your not balance as score. ripe. You know that's great. I, I mean, like I love the fact that you guys love mixed drinks. I do actually. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Mind you, guys, yeah. you like the like that green. And green. I'm impressed with like a spirit. When a spirit I, I'm so happy that you're willing to pay ninety. But let's just explain how Dylan is being too subjective here when a. When a bottled spirit can encompass so many flavors that you think it can actually be like a mixed drink where you're having to add other things to it. It's pretty incredible. And you're going to knock it for that as opposed no, to give it extra points for that? Because that means That I'm sounds like uniqueness, so let's get to more that. More than one occasion. Okay, let's go to okay, balance. Let's go to balance. Uh, it is completely way too skewed towards the apricot. I give it a yeah. six. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I gave this a seven. I'm willing to actually drop down some more because you guys are. It's like it is heavily apricot. Yeah, as much as I like. <laughs> Don't listen to what you guys are saying. To yeah, it gets a five. It gets a five stuff. because it achieves what it's supposed to do. It tastes like apricot. No, it's just not balanced. It's just not balanced. No, it's. It's, the, I think the, it's the, just right, the, right there. The apricot, apricot brandy. The, no, no, they they blended this right. They blended way too much of whatever was aged in the apricot brandy. Yeah. That's all that I yeah. have to say about it. Like, yeah. You know what I feel I'm like? It's just off. It's off. You know what's awesome? It's like you know they get those apricot brandy barrels, and then there's like some you know like liquid, and it needs like all right, let's put it. 
some more in and then like, oops, I dropped a little bit more liquid in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is so heavily skewed and I, I agree with you completely there. That This is the biggest part. No, I get it. I, 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 can, I get it. I, but I, at the end of the day, as a dram that I'm sipping on, I understand it. I understand why people like it and I understand it. It's and I, sweet. And I it think tastes like we need to get drinks. out of our construct and realize that this is the future and we need to embrace this kind of stuff. This is what people like and it's okay. Okay. Let's move on to the finish. Um, honestly, what I was left with, at first I thought it was too cloying, but as I had a couple of extra sips, I actually thought it was pretty pleasant. I ended up at an eight on the finish. Uh, finish, I gave it an eight as well. You guys are out of your mind. I got a three. Taste it again. It's a what, three. What's remaining on the palate is not off-putting. Apricot. It's not cloying, and it's not all no, apricot. I, I completely apricot. disagree with you. Yeah, it's I get a lot of the rice sitting on my palate right now. Are you, I was are expecting. You, are you joking? I was expecting what you're saying, and this is exactly why you're so biased. It's like you came into this thinking this is going to be no, a horrible cocktail. No, but it's not sitting on the palate. That you way. know what I don't like? I don't like the fact that it tastes synthetic to me. It tastes the, like a. The finish doesn't. It tastes I understand like what you're chemistry saying. Chemistry experiment. But the finish, I'm not getting that. I'm getting much more of the rye on the finish. And you know what? I mean, if I can't relate to the future, who cares? I don't care. Well, we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Captain um, Obvious here. Yeah, I mean, what, you gave it an eight. You agree? Yeah, I gave it an eight. You're still doing some I'm math. I'm shaking What's my fist at here? the clouds. I'm just double checking that I actually calculated this correct. My total. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this mess, dude. Um, like, now you threw me off on category. Yeah, I was on. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We were doing finish. Okay, okay finish. I gave it a three. Let's go next. Okay. Mm. No. Oh, yeah, okay. No, what? It's a little tannic. <laughs> I'm going to go down to a seven on the finish. Whatever. Um, okay, so let's move on now to uniqueness. I'm not going to say that I like this, but I will accept that this is one of the more unique rides I've ever had. I give it a nine. Oh, I give it a seven. I gave it an eight. Have you ever had a ride that tastes like this before? No. I mean... I, I, give it, I really it, have to give it the points here. Yeah, the, the, reason, the reason why I... It gave it a high score, but not a nine or a ten, is because there are other ryes that are finished in things. Right. right. Well, what and we're going to compare it to, which is the Angel of Envy, which again has a has a has a lot of flavors that come through that are not rye flavors, right. but and I think these work better yeah. personally. Me too. But at the same time, it is these unique. are both equally. It is unique, making it unique. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they are unique. It's quite think, unique. Yeah, that's why I give it an eight. Okay. I understand. I'll go take. Yeah, I think you're you're a little low on yeah. that. But I mean, yeah, and I understand an eight. I, I mean, maybe a, maybe a nine's a little high for me, but I I do think what what you get here is unique. Whether or not it ultimately really works, I'm I'm struggling with that one still. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's move on to drinkability. It is too sweet for me. I give it a six. I give it a seven. I gave it a six, and I want to say why. I feel like this would be great if you put it in a blender, and you put ice, and you pour this in, and make it into mm -hmm. a slushy. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, it, yes. it would be an apricot winner. slushy. Yeah. Winner, it winner. Just, it, it would, again, you're going back to Vegas, right? Yeah, you know, totally. Put it in that long tube, Yeah. you're you're golden. No, I agree. I, I yeah. think it's, I mean, I, like I said, for it's my palate, I, I won't pour this. It's just too sweet for me. Like I, I won't sit down at the end of it. I'm almost tempted to go down to a five. Whoa, 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 you're not gonna pour this, and you're giving this a seventy-seven. This is one category, which is drinkability. Yeah, I can appreciate the flavors without saying that I like it yeah. to drink for myself. <laughs> well said. <laughs> I mean, this is one category. Well, this is this what this category means, well which is good. drinkability, which is how drinkable is it? It's yeah. too sweet for me. I'm not gonna keep pouring like this. But I can appreciate how many different flavors there are and how yeah. unique it is. Like, you can't do this mental really dissociation nice. for some reason. I don't understand that. Like, this is a spirit. Judge it based on these categories. Don't judge it on, I like it, therefore everything has to be what I think it is. No, it's not that. Judge it on its component it's cool. parts. And judging it on its component parts, no, it's an, it's is an, weak for me. It has no balance. It's an unbalanced, Yeah, that's balanced. Yeah. So, so why balance. did you give it on balance? Yeah, that makes sense. Then. I gave it a five. Okay, I gave it a six okay. on balance. And I gave it a six on Drinkability. drinkability. I and think it's an unbalanced it bleeds into I the flavor. It bleeds into the but flavor. But it has it lots of different aroma. flavors. It's unique. Uh, it yes. has lots of different apricot flavors. Apricot and more apricot. No, and there's rye there. You can't get past the apricot. That's your own damn fault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, hey, 
Hey Dutch, did you get paid? I could have been at a did barbecue. You get paid by I girl? wish, dude. This I would never pour this. From. I'm gonna go to a five on drinkability actually because I'm just realizing that it's drinkable, dude. I seriously would never pour this for myself again. No, I'm never gonna. Drink I've this. had this bottle sitting. I I won't pour it for myself again. It's too damn sweet. Give it to me. Okay, let's move on to aesthetics. Um, okay, typical barrel bourbon, but I kind of like this color scheme. It's different. <laughs> Me too. I gave it a four. Yeah, I, I, like, four. I like the color scheme. I, I do. I gave it a four. Yeah. Four? Yeah. Four? We all agree. Look at that. Yeah. Um, it's a little different. I That's, like it because it's, 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 it's bright. It, 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 stands it stands out among out, the barrel yeah, shelf. Right. You oh, know. crap. Yeah. You know what, though? I'm uh -oh. thinking about uniqueness now, and I gave it a nine, yeah. and I'm remembering dovetail. Mmm. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, you're telling me of all the barrel one-offs, you remember Dumb. Dovetail? That's not a one-off. That's another one of these consistent releases. No, ones. I know. What I'm saying is there's like... They have how many different barrels? In terms of when you're saying barrel uniqueness, that's like... It, it's a... It, no, it's what, redundant. What it's I was thinking of because on uniqueness was a rye tasting like this. A rye finished in apricot. I, I've never had this before. Yeah. I've never had that before. Yeah. But then when I think of it in the context of barrel, I think of dovetail, which is to me works so much better than this. Mm. Like as far as the way the flavors come together, and I don't know if that's mm. is that is that mm. just because the balance is that much better, and maybe this is yeah, just that's why this unique. balances off. Even though it doesn't work, it's still more right. unique. Maybe does that make sense? I mean, like I'm yeah. predicting that someone should get like peach brandy and make a peach brandy version of this, and then people will lose their mind, and it'll be like you know number one, and yeah, it'll yeah, be the number one cocktail. And then the year after that, it's gonna be like vanilla no, or something. You can put some ice cream in there. Mm, How vanilla. about you know why, why don't we do like strawberries, like uh, in Doggo, make now it we're into talking. A, you know a gin, no, I'm gonna keep, right? I'm gonna now we're talking. Uh, what, right, what other fruits like <laughs> synthetic fruits can move banana on yes. to oh, banana? Yeah, no, banana. No. Yeah. Let's move on to value. I remember making banana, like the aromas in the street. Remember? I originally oh, gave this uh, a four, but I'm going to actually drop it to a three. Oh, yeah. Value, dude, three. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I gave it a three. I actually started off I with gave a two. It a th I gave it a three, <laughs> um, I think, because I I'm hoping that people will go and buy this yeah. and waste their money. Well, what I think of it as is like... As unique as as it is, I feel like if they had priced this at like one fifty, they could have done it and they could have sold they it. Could have and people it were like, "Oh my gosh, this is yeah. the most unique thing I've ever yeah, tasted." And people right. taste, it, "Oh my god!" They could have and it, it if you if you shell out one hundred and fifty for this and yeah. you taste it, you're like, yeah. "Oh my god, I've never tasted anything yeah. like this. It's amazing." I feel like it would have made it worse. Yeah. I mean, I, I get you know? the I get Emperor's the look. clothes, man. Yeah, exactly. I, after yeah. this, I get the fact that I'll never get invited to Barrel. Oh yeah, well, um, dude, we're never going to get invited anywhere. Any better, what are you talking about? But yeah, I stand by the fact that you know I'm never. But we all agree, three, three. three. Yeah, fair three. enough. I, I mean, like, I agree. if you want, if you truly want a apricot rye, an apricot, apricot rye, rye this like apricot this is rye. this is where the value Coconut. holds, right? Yeah. All so right, guys, a little bit contentious here. Let's get our final tally. But Wait, first, did I change my stuff? Huh. Our individual scores, Dylan is double checking his math. My final tally, 75. I did drop a couple points. Me too. 77. Mine stayed at 61. Which gives us our ultimate spirits competition really score, score for silver. barrel seagrass. Unequivocally a silver at mm. 71. Yeah, yeah. This is like what? In there, Triple baby. gold. In you there. know what though? This kind of top, tracks. Top 10. This kind of tracks. I think this kind of makes sense. I thought you were going to say, this is trash. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Like, like, like it's, it, it's, I understand why there's certain people Dude, that Dude, I'm love exhausted this. from <laughs> spending money on this, these insane releases. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, how, how do people have so much money? Like, I don't understand. $90 for this. It's like, how could you not be stuff. angry about it? It's like, I don't get this. I'm not angry about it. I just don't. It's like $90. Don't, it's marketing. What I think is it's not for everybody. Yeah. If you like sweet, if you're a sugar baby. What is that? Is that a thing? I don't know. I just made that up. But like, if you like sugar, if you like candy, you're going to love this. And keep that in, please. <laughs> Holy moly. But if you're not... Sugar baby. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this episode's no, been isn't a... That, isn't that candy, like, called Sugar Daddy? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not candy. No, it was like the caramel. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Whatever. Don't know where, who's your sugar dad? <laughs> um, all right, Jules. Uh, you, you need one to go buy this. Holy moly. It's 80 Jeez. bucks. 80 bucks? This day and age, that's this not guy. insane. Oh, really? Wow. I'm sorry. Do you guys drive around in Bentleys? Dude, and there's like a 7% inflation. <laughs> what you ta- that makes up for it right That's there. the normal Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Who bought all of the blue rum? <laughs> 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 He's chilling. <laughs> Oh, All right, Jules. Wow, <laughs> off the rails. Before this gets any worse, please take us out of this episode. That's terrible. Tell us in the comments below how terrible it is. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you like this episode, <laughs> subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Consider joining Curiosity Private if you want to help our channel out. We are also on Patreon. And buy some t-shirts. Oh, you can't buy that one. Buy some t-shirts. Uh, links in the description. We are on a podcast. Oh, we do have a podcast on all the major podcast platforms out there. That's Why always, is this so hard for you? Stay, stay, stay. I told you. I don't even know what I did like an hour ago. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay curious. <laughs>